The bottom line to it all is that you've outgrown certain people, certain friendships, connections, dynamics. You've outgrown these different people, places, and things. You've outgrown it. And because you've outgrown it, sometimes people will make you feel bad because you've outgrown them. They'll make you feel bad because you've outgrown them. When the whole time you was trying to get them to take the ride with you. Trying to get them to invest with you. Trying to get them to wake up early in the morning and go to the gym with you. Trying to sit on the phone and read the scriptures with them. Whatever it is you was trying to do. They didn't want to receive that or you. So guess what you did? Brush the dirt off and kept it moving. In the moment you got that I don't care attitude, all of a sudden they care. That's the kind of toxicity that we're releasing. If I have to show up in negative energy, if I have to cut you off, if I have to play games, if I have to do tit for tat in order for you to see me, appreciate me, love me, care about me, show me attention, you were never meant to be a part of my life. Because what I don't have time for is to play games. Is to play games. You have outgrown some people, some environments, and they don't know how to take you anymore. Because you've outgrown them, they're now saying you need to humble yourself. People get it confused when it comes to you, when they approach you, when they try to befriend you, when they meet you. They get it confused because you're extremely humble, but your spirit is bold. You're extremely humble, but your spirit is bold. And so they'll take your meekness They'll take your genuineness. They'll take the fact that you care, your love, all the attention that you're giving. They'll take it. They'll use it. They'll abuse it. They'll mistreat it. And they'll think that you're gullible, that you're stupid, that you're naive. That's the part that they harp on. And they don't know that it's a real thin line that you've drawn. In the moment they cross that line, oh, they see a new version of you, a different side of you. Somebody didn't know that side of you exist because you were already humble. So you may have scratched your head and you may have wondered all these years, all these months, why just recently people not all of a sudden trying to humble you, make you feel small. Because you're spiritually wealthy. You're spiritually wealthy. It has nothing to do with what you possess in this physical world. The Holy Spirit that works in you and through you causes you to be abundant. Your light is shining. People see that. They feel that. That's what they're competing with. That's what challenges them. That's what makes them feel intimidated. That's what makes them angry. That. And so they're constantly trying to humble you because of that. And that's why I tell y'all all the time that it does not matter if you decide you want to be the most caring person. You want to be the person that give everybody a plate. Want to make sure everybody got something to eat, something to wear. I get it. I got it, y'all. Trust me. But sometimes it don't matter what you do. You can bend over backwards and people will still try to humble you. They'll take your last. You can give them the last, the last shirt, the last dollar, the last meal. You can give it to them. And they'll still treat you as if you think you all that. They can't take no advice from you because it's you. They already put you on the pedestal. It's not you putting yourself on the pedestal. They put you on the pedestal from the beginning. And because they put you on a pedestal, now they feel like they got to humble you. That's so crazy to me. They put you up there and then they humble you. 
That's their whole agenda, y'all, to keep you in that humble state that stagnant state, the mentality that you can't do better. I say it all the time, but I say it because I want y'all to really understand it. That people humble you because your spirit is bold or they want you to be humble because your spirit is bold. And so when they come around you, they cut up, they act out, they do the most. They do the most because your spirit is bold. You're not physically doing anything. You're not physically doing anything. But they feel like you are. They feel like you are. Because of your spirit. You can be quiet all night. You at the function, you sitting up, you sitting around, you quiet all night. You at the meeting, you've been quiet the whole time. In the moment you, you raise your hand and you speak up, the moment you have something to say at the party, it's quiet. Everybody want to see what you got to say. Because they know when you speak, it means something. When you show up, oh, the party going to be turned up. But at the same breath, they want to humble you. It's something about people being able to humble you. It's something about people being able to catch you, get you in your emotions, get you all wrapped up and tied up because you're you're seen as a very strong person. You're seen as a very strong person. So if they can break you down, if the devil can break you down, oh, that's a win situation all day for the kingdom of darkness. For the kingdom of darkness, it's a win situation. Because of the power that you possess, because of the light that you possess, because of the wisdom and the knowledge that you've gained through all the foolishness. Let me tell you something. When you start learning the enemy's playbook, you become a bigger target, a greater target. And that's okay because you're covered, you're protected. The only reason why I'm bringing that up and saying that, because I want you to know the more knowledgeable you are, the more you rise, the more you elevate, the more you ascend. Guess what's going to happen? The enemy going to crank up a little bit more because now you're starting to tap into all of his antics and his tactics. And when you know better, you do better. So guess what? He got to play a little bit harder. The people that they use, he use, have to play a little bit harder. They got to say a little bit more to humble you. But right now, sweetheart, it ain't nothing they can do. They never had control. The thing is, we just didn't know better. But now we do. And we're learning more and more about ourselves every day. And every time you do that, your light gets brighter. And guess what? When your light gets brighter, you overshadow darkness. And when you overshadow darkness, they get more ignorant, no matter where you are. The enemy starts knowing who you are by name. Because now you're holding spiritual weight. You're walking heavy. You were already that. You were already that diamond. You were already, you know, had the weight. You were already that. You just had to wake up to it. That light had to be turned on and now it's on baby and it's gonna stay on can't nobody damn it can't nobody humble you can't nobody stop you and yes your spirit is bold your spirit is courageous your spirit is anointed you are anointed you are great what you possess yes and that doesn't take away from anybody else because the moment you start hyping yourself, congratulating yourself, talking about all of your accolades and what you've been done, doing people feel like it take away from them. It dims their light. It makes them feel small. So guess what? They try to humble you before you humble them. And you're not even thinking like that. Again, you come with a humble spirit already. So you don't mind encouraging everybody else because you know it don't take nothing from you. You're firm. You know who you are. 
So you don't mind complimenting. You don't mind encouraging. You don't mind supporting different weddings, even if you're not married. But some people will try to invite you to their weddings just to rub it into your face. Petty. Want to humble you. They got a whole husband standing at the altar. About to get married. Life about to completely change. They still focused on you. Inviting you. To try to get you wrapped up and tied up in your feelings. Want you to see their wedding. How they spent their money on all this stuff. A facade is what it is. A facade. Listen. Continue to be humble, but also bold. I tell y'all all the time, you can be humble before God and bold before the devil. You can be humble before God and bold before the devil because the enemy feels like you should respect him too, and that's a lie. People get mad or start feeling some type of way when you call other people out, you call that spirit out, they get mad at you. They try to feel like, oh, you a Christian, or oh, you this and that, you talking about God, but you talking like that. Why, yes, I am. Because I'm talking to the spirit in that person. I'm not cussing nobody out. I'm not mistreating nobody. Of course, when I step on the enemy, they're going to feel some type of way. Of course, when you speak the truth, people going to feel some type of way. I don't care how you sugarcoat it. And that's what they can get with when it comes to you. Because your spirit comes with truth as well. That's the boldness of it all. So they look at you and they think you're gentle, you're kind, you're weak, you're meek, you're all these things. Oh, but when that boldness show up, when they push you to the edge, then all of a sudden they become the victim. We're not playing those games. We're not playing those games in this season. People trying to humble you, make you feel bad, do all these things. And the moment you stand up, you get a backbone, all of a sudden they're a victim. They don't know why you're doing this and saying that. We're not playing those games. People don't have to sit in what they've done. Keep that same energy. Keep the same energy. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank you for your PayPals, your cash apps, your super thanks, your thumbs up, your love, your support. Continuing to show up each and every single time that I show up. Please know, oh, sorry y'all, please know I appreciate you all so much. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome to the Walk Heavy channel. Over here is all gas, no brakes. We're putting our foot on the enemy snack. We're not letting up. Those of you that are returning, y'all already know I love y'all so, 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 so much. Please know that I don't know what's happening right now. I feel like I'm burping and choking and everything at the same time. But we're done now, so the devil can just let up and stop because it's over. But y'all, please know I love y'all so much. And until next time, y'all be easy. Peace.